Right, welcome to Bloodstock, and we're backstage with uh, four of the members of Nakunia. So, welcome. Well How's it going? Come on. <laughs> How are you getting on? Yeah, not bad. That was the trip over. It took us 12 hours to get over. Really? We left at 6 in the morning on a, we got a heavy metal bus from a, a band that played here years ago, Psychosis. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Guitar player drove the bus over. Uh, we left at 7 in the morning from Dublin. And we got to Catton Hall about half five, so it was, it was a lot of pit stops. <laughs> we made it. 12 <laughs> hours on a heavy metal bus. Yeah. There was a lot of. Um, Shrouded her over as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The they were playing today as well, yeah. yeah. And Zora as well. Yeah, Zora, yes. Chatted to them yesterday. So yeah. a big contingents come over this time, isn't it? There's a, yeah. there's a load of people from Cork as well. Yeah. There's the other end of the island. And you just meet up to What are you doing here? I'm from Cork. We, came all, we all came over. There's a big contingent of us. It was great to see. Everyone's just having the, the banter, you know? Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah, you're, you're playing uh, the New Blood stage a bit later. Yeah. Um, well, a lot of people may not be familiar with the band, so I mean, tell us for this, uh, what can they expect sound-wise? Basically, um, traditional Irish music. Mm. Like Anna plays the fiddle, and Kieran plays the tin whistle, and we sort of meld out metal. So it's it's not like generic. Bazooki as well. Yeah, bazooki. It's not like a generic folk metal where they sing about mythology. Yeah. We sing about the land and beasts and stuff like that so with the music we have Gaelic vocals as well so it's really like tribally and yeah. rhythm rhythms that's what we go for um, yeah because we're all a big fan of uh, groove metal and that so that's incorporated heavily and we mix up um, some trash metal some black metal yeah. kind of with the six of us in the band we all listen to so many different varied musics so we bring it towards and yeah. kind of build what yeah, we, well, that, our sound we were building. That's what I, I noticed when I was um, listening to, to some of your stuff. It's, it is that mix that makes it, yeah. yeah, okay, there's different elements, but the fact that they come all together, it makes it unique in a way. Yeah, it's something know? different. So, yes. There's bits that everyone's familiar with, yeah, yeah. but bring it together. Yeah, they get certain parts, totally it's like last beats, and then play a bit of black metal, and then go into a bit of trad music, and everyone's like, oh, this is amazing. It's one of our songs, um, we don't have a, re a recording of it, uh, but it's got like, bits of flamenco in it. Uh, yeah. here. It's got bits of flamenco in it, and it just suits it because like, if it suits, if it works, we kind of use from all aspects of the yeah, different music. genres. Yeah. And just, yeah. If it sounds good, just play it. Yeah. 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 You alluded there a minute or so ago to, to the, the lyric, lyrical side of things. Yeah. And I was uh, quite interested in that because. As you said, the temptation would be to go for you know fire breathing dragons and yeah. swords and, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> you tend to sort of aim for the more organic, organic things yeah. you can see, feel, the hear, landscape, the that. land. Like Maddie, can sing yeah. about the, the land. Yeah, we just um, pretty much animals, the land, the weather. You know, the kind of what's going on. Uh, Is it windy today? Let's really talk about the wind. Yeah. 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 Yeah, just well, sort of. I, I could relate to that a lot, you know, living in Wales. Yeah. Again, it's that sort of wild landscape. Just like, what the hell is going on today? It's a fucking shower. Like. Yeah. We, we live in Galway, and there's an area in Galway called Kilimara, and it's basically just mountains, fields, uh, bogs, all sorts of stuff. It's, it's very beautiful. It's very um, rural and rustic. It's kind of really cool to see. Yeah. It's very barren as well. Yeah. And it's just nice. Which has its own beauty. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You know, when you wake up in the morning, you just see mountains. And it's, you know, you'd rather tell a story about a mountain than something that really didn't happen as a myth, you know. And it, 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 a big man claw, crawled up the mountain, and he fucking, you know, something like that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You try and keep it. Exactly. Yeah. Well, the, the album's been out since February. Um, yeah. was that, did that take ages to get together, or was it quite quick? A yeah, smile says so perhaps it was, no. It was definitely a few years, six years. Really? Yeah. And we're, we're balls deep into the next one now at the moment. We've got about three songs on the moment. Yeah, basically, Matty and Kieran set up the band. They started off playing grunge music. Yeah, that was the old band. Yeah, yeah. and then they, just incorporated, they started incorporating traditional Irish music into it. 
and uh, it just evolved from there. We joined, yeah. yeah. We, we play folk music every Monday and Tuesday in Garvey's. Yes, like. we do play traditional music. So th this is one of the things that really sets Napurnia apart, is the fact that we have musicians that are really into trad, not folk, not trad. Yeah. And then we have very well-grounded heavy metal people. And then we just have a very good mix where it's it's balanced. It's not, you know, I like metal a little bit and it's I don't know like anything about it. Or, yeah. it's, 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 or it's yeah, like, it's oh, I can play the Rocky Road to Dublin, the whistle, so I'm going to, you know, put a metal folk metal band together. You know? And actually, when we're talking about the tunes and the mixing things, it's like we have we chosen some very traditional tunes that have been that reels that have been played for a long time as there is one tune that is actually written by a, he's still alive a modern um, Irish composer called Paddy Fahi from Galway so we have that to represent the, the traditional music but we also write our own tunes it's not just the music so so we have uh, Shawak we have a slip jig that was written by Kieran you know, it's a two-part slip jig. You know, it could it could be played by any trad musician. And then we kind of made an arrangement around that. So you know, we are we are somehow writing trad as well as we are you know doing folk math metal, which is something that I personally haven't seen so in in other bands. So that's... When you're writing something, uh, as you say, in that sort of trad mode, is that are you quite constrained with what you can? the basis, the core of it, does that have a standard? It depends from who's writing, but um, normally you know, so you have a riff and then we can, you know, extend the idea around that, so of course I'm going to extend it my way because I'm more ground than trad, you know, and Ronan and, and Thomas are going to do it their own way, so say I'm always doing my thing but basing my lines on the bass. Um, and then, you know, from there, or, or Kieran comes up with a very clear idea of a tune, a track tune, and then we, we build the song from there. It depends on what we're doing. That's, and, and is that because you've got quite a lot of complexity? Is, is that why it took six years to <laughs> yes. get together? We, we, we had to change like, a lot of members. Yeah, uh, we had trouble time. sticking with a drummer and a guitar player. Uh, for so whatever reason, it, so it was very stop starting. Right, you know, drummers are impossible to get. Yeah. Metal drummers. Good metal drummers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now we're blessed with the best metal drummer ever. We have Lisa Howe, from, former drummer from uh, Dark Sierra. Era. So, and another girl, which is great, I'm not alone. The female last She is a woman that knows her sticks, like. She does. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I was uh, checking you out and I noticed you just come back from roughing it over in Metal Days. Yeah. yeah. How, how was that as an experience? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. We got rained off stage. Uh, we had a thunderstorm ahead. Uh, it, thunderstorm has been kicking up all the day. Uh, there was a third stage that got struck by lightning and collapsed. And as we were playing, we got about four songs in, was it? Yeah. And, and then, then just the rain, you just... It's, it's like a swooped. hurricane just hit us on stage. Yeah, it just swooped and the rest in. of the week was just sunny. <laughs> So we just camped in the forest because it was too hot. But yeah, we got hit by a wall of rain and something you've never seen like this. It's crazy. But um you'll never forget it. But yeah, that's it. It was it was actually it's kinda of bad we couldn't finish our set, but it was very poetic in the way it ended. Because like we said we sing about nature and all yeah. that. So it's kinda of cool it's kinda of cool for it to kick us off stage. It literally <laughs> took metal days by storm. Yeah. <laughs> so it was fun. It was fun. <laughs> Um, I, I always think of Bloodstock, the festival, as a, a good springboard, if you like, for exposure and new faces and networking and all that sort of thing. Um, so what plans has the band got to sort of carry this momentum forward now? And, uh, well, after Bloodstock, we're going to take a break for a bit, write some new music. We're releasing a music video in October, November, called Fuenishka. Um, it's one of the tunes we're playing tomorrow. And, after that, we're just planning to 2018 just travel Europe, hopefully, and just go around and. Yeah, we're taking a break. Well, it's not really a break, but we'll rest for a week and then yeah. really yeah. write tunes and have, you know, have a CD yeah. really yeah. Ready, <laughs> ready for 2018. We already have four new songs that yeah. we are working on. 
so that's a lot of work to be. Yeah. And is, is there a, an idea of how many songs you'd like? You say you've got four, would it be eight, ten, or...? Hopefully, ten, yeah. Or is it just... Whatever it feels like the right amount. Yeah. 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 You, you can't decide how long an album is going to be until you've written the last one. When we get to a point, yeah. and you don't seem stuck on a three minute song, a four minute song, is it? Oh, no. It's just how it flows. Just yeah, flow. we have a few three and four minute songs. Our song Shout Walk is what, like eight, eight seven, minutes? Seven minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Seven and a half minutes. Uh, it's whatever a song needs to do. If it needs to keep progressing, if we write 20 minute songs, we'll write 20 minute yeah, songs. Yeah. If we make, write two minute songs, we'll write the crowd enjoying. Like, yeah. We feed off the crowd, the energy of the crowd. Yeah, that's it. Like, every gig we play, we're just, hello, what are we doing? Well, um, to wrap up, guys, I guess just check the social media pages as yeah, well as you're yeah. on all of that, don't you? Yeah, um, we have kind of YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, and Twitter. It's all Nacrunia. You can find it all there. Yeah, and you can get our album on Bandcamp. Nacrunia Band, Bandcamp.com. <laughs> iTunes as well. Oh, yeah, we're on Spotify. Well. Well. Spotify. Yeah. <laughs> the list just goes on and on. <laughs> we keep adding to stuff, and it's like the six of us. If you don't, rem if you don't remember, like, we don't have someone goes, "Hey, you remember this?" Uh, yes. We have to write it ourselves. The <laughs> crew <laughs> <laughs> there is a bunch of lads. <laughs> oh, and some women. Oh, and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cheers for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. But, cool. Uh, yeah, best of luck, and we'll see you again soon. Yeah, cool. Hopefully.